dry toilets has been around for quite some time now, but these ladies discovered a way to get a business model out of it. Yeah, today we have Jessica here with us to talk about her company X Runner Venture. Jessica, why did you start a business in the, let's say, poop industry? Yeah, I felt very inspired by the big challenge. Uh, today there are 2.5 billion people who don't have access to improved sanitation worldwide. And of course, this can have very severe consequences, if not fatal ones, in terms of health, and it also really burdens people's lives. Now, in Lima alone, where we work, um, the capital of Peru, there are around 1.5 million people today who don't have a safe toilet. Now, Lima is the second driest capital in the world, and water or sewage-based solutions, as most of us would know, um, are simply not feasible for the whole population there. Okay, so you've created the uh, dry toilet, which has been around for a while, but um, you got a business model out of it. How does it work and how does the system of the dry toilet work? Uh, the tricky thing uh, about dry toilets is that they require a lot of space for storage and treatment of the feces. And when we think of a home in a dense urban environment, this is simply not possible. And so we at x thought, why don't we offer uh, treatment and storage and make a business out of it? So what we do is we install a waterless toilet in families' homes, and then we go by once a week and pick up all the waste or the feces, which we then bring to our treatment facility hub, where we process it into compost. And this, again, we can use as soil for public parks and gardens. Can you share an inspiring thing that happened because of the dry toilets? Yeah, just last year I visited our first customer um, and when we met her three years ago she was really struggling. Uh, she lived in a poorly built home, she owned a couple of pigs and then eventually uh, she was able to open up a kiosk and with the money from that kiosk she opened up a second one just last year. And uh, the first thing she did when she opened the kiosk was to get another toilet that she could have for the person working there, but also offering it to customers so when they come by and have a beer, they could actually have a clean and nice looking toilet. And that is very much the coolest thing, having the first customer already, you know, having two toilets. Yeah, it, it sounds really nice that your business is inspiring other businesses, to put it that way. And uh, if you want to check out more about the dry toilet, uh, check out the links below. And if you want to see more about business, check out interconnection.com. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.